Hi guys, it's another beautiful self-care Sunday. We're gonna take a, a 500 pass shave and enjoy it. Cheers. Stop on by. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Um, I'm doing a old school um, soap and splash. It's, this may be four years old, I'm not sure. Um, holy cow, king of bourbon, beautiful boozy vanilla scent. Um, so I've got that, I've got the splash, which is a um, alcohol splash, and pretty sure this one's got menthol in it also. Um, yep. Yeah. So a very nice, fresh aftershave. And then I've got just a little touch of um, Maison Francis Kirchen um, uh, Grand Soir. And I'm going to add that to it. It's, um, you know, kind of a vanilla, deep, um, you know, dark amber, uh, just really pretty fragrance. And I've got just a touch of it. Um, and it does go a good, a good ways. Um, so I'm going to use that. And brush, Sawdust Creation Studios. Beautiful one from Mr. Bobby Muffet. I love this one. And it's got the um, Fanchurian in there. And then I'm bringing out the original PAA DOC. Looks menacing, but it's not. Somewhat adjustable. Um, and I'm gonna use a Voshkot in there. Just going for an easy shave. Um, I shaved last, I mean, less than 48 hours ago. I mean, I do still have, I do still have some whiskers there. Um, and we're gonna take them off. And I may go 500 passes, I don't know. Um, but I am going to use some super bougie water. Um, cheers to all of you. I've not been feeling very well. I'm starting to get a little bit better. Cheers. It's uh, 2002 Cabernet Sauvignon from Winty, which is a um, California wine. Um, very nice, real smooth. Um, all right, let's do this thing. The soap was looking pretty dry on the top, so I did go ahead and soak it, and I'll add a little of this water to my face. Why not? I've already gotten my chores done for the day, done my grocery shopping, and got rid of all my trash and bottles and the recyclable stuff, all of that junk. Um, so now I'm ready to just enjoy the shave um, and then hopefully have a pretty laid back day for the rest of the day. So here we go. A little stearic acid crystals in there. Let's get this loaded up. This has been a good while since I've used this and, and I really, really enjoy the scent. So we'll go back. I, I don't know how many different uh, soap bases there are since this one. Um, I know there's Sierra and I, I don't know what else, what else there is. Uh, but anyway, this one always performed very well for me, and I expect no less today. Get it loaded nice and heavy. So I can maybe go through a uh, soap this year. Maybe. I don't think I even finished a soap last year. I don't remember it if I did. Do you want to watch someone finish a soap? Follow Nate Burgermeister, also known as Nate Burgermeister. Slippery. Some slick stuff. Get some alum on my fingers. Mm. And then on my lips. Smart, Brandon. Smart move. All right. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you've had a great weekend thus far. 
If you haven't, I hope it turns around in the next few hours. You don't have much time left. And those across the pond, you really don't have much time left. Mm, great scent on this one. Beautiful vanilla. Kind of a manly vanilla, if you will. No, I don't know if vanilla has genders. Maybe. I don't know. How do they procreate? That'll tell you. I mean, I've never seen two vanilla pods doing it, so... Look at that. Beautiful stuff. All right, and I'm not going to fool with this too much. I'm just going to get me a nice lather and go on with it. I got this nice white lather all over this nice black shirt. That didn't take long, did it? Who cares? I'm not going anywhere. I ain't going nowhere. There we go. All right. Cheers again, my friends. Thank you. For your subs, your likes, all of your comments, which I love. And I love that you continue to do that. I appreciate it. Get a little warmer water in here in the basin, basin, traveling, I mean, whatever you like to call it. Um, so a Vashkai blade, and let's do this. I mean, a mild eraser, but it still does a great job for me. I mean, it does take a little work to get BBS. But I have plenty of other BBS razors. But I absolutely can get BBS with this. Once again, it just takes a little more work, a little more time. which today I have tons of time. I don't know how much time you have, but you can fast forward anytime you want. It's just a no nonsense, nonsense shaver. Don't have to worry too much about angle. If it shaves, then you're probably at that angle. Very neat little razor to, to show people. People look at it and it looks pretty menacing. They're like, I would kill myself with that. Really fun to shave with. Really nice audible feedback on it as well. Really enjoy using this one. All right, get rid of this water. get rid of this water and add a touch of wine. Very tasty.
up here out of there. Anyone have any new purchases coming in? If you do, please leave a comment. I love hearing what you guys are getting. Especially since I've been on a buying freeze. I'm kind of living vicariously through you guys. And with the stuff that I haven't heard of, of course, I have to look them up. Do some research on it. See what the stuff is. So that kind of helps keep me current. Current, grape, raisin, you know, whatever. Something in that family. I know it was bad. All right. Let's keep those bad jokes going. Hey, you guys tell me you enjoy them. Don't complain about them now. Finally got through our terrible weather yesterday of, um, you know, wind chill of like 50 below Fahrenheit. Terrible. I don't know what is below Fahrenheit. Whoever here in Fahrenheit likes, I guess. I don't know. Nice little shaver. And I think they're only about 30 bucks. 30 or 35 on PAA's website. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements for those of you that don't know the abbreviation. I knew I, now I know I get some people new to wet shaving here, which I love. I try not to abbreviate too much. Um, a BBS shave is baby butt smooth. I think everyone knows that one. This is really a great buffing razor too. If you don't know what that means, it's like just, you just, you just kind of keep the, uh, keep the cap on your skin and just keep kind of moving until you get more material, more material. Um, it's a good way to get really smooth. And this razor definitely excels at that. If you want BBS, um, you'll, it will require some buffing most of the time. It does for me anyway. I didn't load up quite as much soap as I thought I did. It's okay. We got plenty and this has got residual slickness for days so I could certainly shave without even adding the, the lather. This stuff's so good, I could, um, I could buff without lather too. I'm sure of it. Well, and not get rid of my skin. I could properly do it. It's that beautiful sound. If any of you caught the, the um, Maker's Mark 101 um, uncorking, uh, give me your thoughts. I thought it was a really good episode. Doing the comparison between 
obviously what they're, you know, what Maker's Mark is going after, which is Wild Turkey 101. Or it certainly does seem that way. All right, another great pass. So I'll do this pass and then I'll just kind of do some buffing, whatever, just to get everything a little bit smoother, which I mean, it's still pretty smooth right now, but this is my fun shave. It will take a little time. Also, I really enjoy using this razor and I don't use it that much just because I'm using something a little more efficient usually. And this razor's been around for a good while and everyone wants to see new stuff. So it makes it tough doing this when you're not made of money. It's hard to come up with new stuff to show all the time. I, I just can't. I can't afford to. Yeah, you see how the cap doesn't leave my skin. So I wouldn't call this an adjustable razor. I would call it a, a refinable razor based on how much you tighten the, the um, head to the handle. There's some wiggle room there. And if you really reef down on it, um, you almost totally close the blade angle or the blade gap and hardly get it to shave. All right, and now we'll do some buffing here too. Really fun to use. Don't have to worry too much about getting cut. I mean, obviously you can cut yourself with any razor if you're not at least somewhat careful paying attention, but you know, this one's not a super efficient razor, so you don't have to worry too much. I mean, you'll get little, I got a little, thank you. Is it? Yeah little bitty spot right there but nothing big all right so now mainly I'm gonna do some work on my neck and just get as close as I can there I mean with that buffing that's that's really nice there's still a couple spots I want to get but overall we're in really good shape I'd like my shape to be a little smaller, but I mean, otherwise we're in pretty good shape. So you can hear that still. So just a little material, not much.
and this is mild, but you still don't use any pressure. Still just using the weight of the razor. Because this thing will tear you up if you put pressure on it, just like any other DE or any other razor period other than cartridge jump. I think I hear someone crying out there, hun. Mm -mm. I think my youngest may be a little hurt. Let's see. Either hurt or he's being mean, one of the two. Uh oh. Grape shade. Mm. Lancaster towel. Mm. Super absorbent, super soft. Just a fantastic towel. I can hear my wife raising her voice, so I don't think he's hurt. I think he's being a poop nugget. All right. Very, very nice shave. Check out sideburns. Mm. Me. These a little better. Okay. There we go. Okay. Menthol alcohol. I like those paired together. Mm. Mm-hmm, little alky burn. Mm. Just something about that alcohol burn and then menthol. Just makes your skin feel so clean. Mm. Great stuff. All right. La Roche-Posay double moisturizer double repair facial moisturizer really liking this stuff got a real nice texture to it um, sinks in really quickly as well really good stuff not super cheap but you know not crazy expensive either i think it's like 20 20 bucks 25 bucks maybe something like that but it seems like it will last a good while get those eyes those crow's feet Wish those crows would go away maybe i need to get some crow killer for my face they might make it i don't know Good stuff. And we'll finish with one of the kings of fragrance. Maison Francis Kirchen. And this one is Grand Soir. Really deep, rich, beautiful scent. And I've got just a touch of it left. It should be perfect for last use today. Mm. Yep, and there we go. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful scent. Not, not, I can't really call it masculine, but 
I don't know, it's just deep and beautiful. If you if you get a chance to put your nose on it, definitely do so or um, get a decant or something like that. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Hope your week starts nice and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.